Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Atla Pink, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about that really has the great Bitcoin accumulation started. This is actually what uh, Cameron Winkle was is saying, the co-founder of Gemini Exchange. And now we can see that the big guys really started to push one after each other. So let's talk about that. Then, uh, you know, uh, BlackRock has applied for this uh, Bitcoin uh, spot ETF. And let's have a quick look what happened when the first gold ETF came out in the United States about uh, 20 years ago. And uh, the third thing I would like to talk about is Jerome Powell, who says that Bitcoin has staying power as an asset class. So guys, all this in today's video. And don't forget, every single day I'm making you fresh videos to keep you up to date in crypto, blockchain. So if you are interested in this topic, you want to stay up to date, simply subscribe. Subscribe bell button all, then you will get the notifications as soon as a new video is out. And hit the like button if you like this kind of content, highly appreciate it. So let's do it. Well, what what a week have we with Bitcoin? Look at this here. Look at the chart. In the last 24 hours, Bitcoin went up 4%, but in seven days, 21%. When we're looking at here, you know, other big guys, Ethereum, less than Bitcoin, 16%. Then we have BNV, 7%, XRP, 5%, Cardano, 16%, Doge, uh, 10, uh, Solana, 17, Throne, you know, all these, I mean, look at it. Bitcoin has outperformed all these uh, uh, top altcoins. So you can see how strong this kind of Bitcoin accum accumulation is right now. Bitcoin price is still above 30,000 and actually it was higher than this. Ethereum, 1,895 US dollar. When we're looking at the winner on the, of the last 24 hours, uh, in the top 100, Pepe up 37%, Conflux 18%, Stacks 13%. Uh, losers, do we have? Well, Frax share going down 2%, Render Token 2%. Well, not big. Not big ones at all. Here you can see the Bitcoin candlestick chart, and you can see that we went all the way up yesterday to 30,800. Um, so this was actually uh, the highest. And now, we closed above uh, this 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 line. Uh, did we close? Um, maybe just 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 under just under thirty thousand. So we're at thirty thousand, and then we continue today. We were all the way up here uh, so far. We came back now. So, but we are above this uh, you know line, which could work now as a support. This uh, this line, what I have here, just below thirty thousand, right? And um, well, when you're looking at uh, this, uh, this is the, the market cap of Bitcoin, how that has increased. Look here on the 20th of June, basically, we had uh, a market cap of um, yeah, 519 uh, billion uh, US dollar of Bitcoin, which went all the way up here on the 21st of June, so basically yesterday, to 591 uh, billion uh, Bitcoin. So if you just do the math, it's a lot of, lot of uh, <coughs> money in flow, uh, flew in to Bitcoin, basically in, 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 in 24, 48 hours, something like that. So you can see this, this big accumulation, and therefore we can see prices going up. And talking about that, Talking about that, let's talk about the great accumulation. This is what actually um, Cameron Winkle was is saying. Um, so yeah, let's look at it. So what's happening now? Suddenly, Bitcoin price started to go up. We were back above 30,000. You know, a couple of days ago, we were just under 25,000. And a lot of, lot of bearish news came out recently. Now, in a week, we had tons of bullish news. And um, Cameron Winklevoss is saying that, uh, who is the co-founder of the Gemini Crypto Exchange, that the great accumulation of Bitcoin has begun between institutions and retail investors. 
So basically, over the past week, Fidelity, Invesco, Wisdom Tree, and um, Valkyrie has followed investment giant BlackRock in applying for Bitcoin spot ETF with the United States uh, Security Exchange Commission, SEC, which uh, some analysts believe is the reason for this huge, more than 20% uh, uh, pump in, in, in Bitcoin. Also, Michael Saylor uh, is saying that um, the window to front-run institutional demand for Bitcoin is closing. So now with these big guys, and then we have, you know, uh, Deutsche Bank um, apply also for for uh, crypto uh, custody and so on and so forth. So a lot of, lot of things happening and uh, these guys have tons of money. So when they really start to buy, uh, you know, Bitcoin, then we can see that will be a huge demand for Bitcoin. A, the price will go up, People probably after that going to FOMO in when this old all this ETF going to be approved. Uh, not now. This can happen beginning of 2024 or something. But already because of the news, this, uh, the, the the price started to go up, and they also uh, already accumulating. Um, so that's pretty much for sure. And uh, look, when you're looking at here on Glassnode, uh, how much Bitcoin, how many Bitcoin is available? on exchanges, A, it's coming down uh, continuously since 2017 March, so before it went up there and coming down. And when you're looking at now where we are, uh, it is, let me read it out, uh, 2.2, almost 2.3 million Bitcoin, well, a bit less than that, uh, on exchanges. And uh, guess what? We have less and less. So couple of Bitcoin lost because lost uh, the, the, the private keys and then and, and all the uh, access uh, to the uh, address where they held the Bitcoin. Um, then uh, we have, you know, uh, Bitcoin owned by big whales and just uh, sitting on it. So, for example, on exchanges, there's less and less uh, available, but you just simply can jump in and buy. And uh, yes, Therefore, therefore, uh, of course, it's not happening in 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 a couple of days or you know months. But the battle for accumulation now with the big players it really starts uh, started kind of uh, in in their opi uh, opinion. <coughs> and what do you think? You can let me know in the comment section if you agree or disagree with this. And maybe when we're looking at Bitcoin in five ten years time, uh, it will look totally different. And it will not be that easy to 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 put your hands on some some satoshi just like now and not on this price. But you know there is huge risk also involved with crypto. We should understand this. But uh, now also we can talk about it. That's who is highlighting the uh, the, the risk. Uh, you you know it just came from from uh, a lot of lot of uh, institutional players banks all in the past that it's dangerous it's it's uh, you know Warren Buffett is saying it's a rat poison and so on and so forth and now suddenly things start to change and they start to talk about Bitcoin like yeah okay okay you can okay now we regulate it and it's actually it's not that bad and so on and so forth totally changing their mind and then you know the public looks at them is like so what are you talking about you said previously that uh, it's crap and now you're saying it's it's actually maybe okay and uh, you just accumulated we and we missed out so this is this is very interesting but we don't know the future don't know the future but we're going to see it uh, see it definitely uh okay second thing i would like to discuss is what happened to gold actually when the first gold etf came back came out in 2004 what kind of impact it had on the gold price because you know now bitcoin etf can come out actually soon spot etf so when the first uh gold etf came out in the united states was it back in 2004 uh, november the 18th you know the street tracks gold shares now called sbdr gold shares um you know uh, came out actually 
the the first uh, you know gold ETF came out in uh, Australia back in 2003, but one year later in 2004 in the United States. So quick look. Here we are, 2004. So roughly at this point, okay, just just before 2005. So here it came out. Now you can look at the gold price all the way back here to before 1975, somewhere here, you know, 1970s, back all the way there. It hasn't happened too much. After this came out, you know, then, then things started to really uh, change. And uh, I found something somewhere about it, but... Anyway, bottom line is that uh, gold was more available after that. ETF helped a lot. And uh, then, you know, people started to, 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 to kind of buy it. And that pushed up the price. And uh, you can see quite significant price increase. Now we're talking, okay, we do know about the inflation and all these kind of things, right? But even before we had this kind of huge inflation, this spike, look, all the way up here, um, above 1,800 US dollar for gold, when it was about 400 by the time, roughly speaking, 400 US dollar when the ETF came out. So you can see it here, kind of flat line, nothing happening. ETF came out, all the way up. Can this happen to Bitcoin? That's a very interesting question. Okay, and uh, now let's move on to the last topic I would like to discuss, what uh, just uh, Jerome Powell said, that uh, Bitcoin has staying power as an asset. So now the way Jerome Powell is talking about, uh, you know, Bitcoin, interesting, interesting, put it this way. So first... You know, Powell also remarked uh, in his speech uh, that uh, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin have staying power. Hmm, interesting. Another uh, one is that he's saying that we do see payment stablecoins as form of money. And in all advanced economies, the ultimate source of credibility in money is in the central bank. We believe that it would be appropriate to have quite robust federal role in what happens in stablecoins going forward. So, all very interesting, but recently, whatever coming out in, in a, re a couple of days, uh, it's all bullish for uh, crypto. And when you're looking at, you know, even the stock market or you're looking at uh, the gold price, we can actually have a quick look here. Um, uh, where is the stock market? Here, you know, all the way, three days red, down. Gold, here, three days, four days, down. Silver, down. Bitcoin, all the way up. So uh, it's decoupling, not just from the stock market right now, but it's really decoupling from uh, gold and silver at the moment. So very, very interesting things happening, but definitely a lot of money uh, went into Bitcoin uh, recently as you could see on the market cap. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Don't forget, every single day, I'm making you fresh dose to keep you up to date in crypto and blockchain. So if that's important for you, simply just subscribe and uh, then you will get the news on time. And, you know, we always looking behind the scenes a little bit, uh, discuss it to understand it, not just saying what happened and, and that's it. And uh, if you like this, then... Don't forget to hit the like button. Highly appreciate it. See you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.